G'day everybody, Uncle Jojo here. Today we are upgrading a hanging beam. If you know what a hanging beam is, a hanging beam is used in the ceiling space to divide the span of your ceiling joist and the weight, the downward weight from that. Step this way, I'm gonna show you an old one and the new one that we're upgrading to. Here we have our hanging beam and if you can see, this here is our ceiling space and that's our joist that runs all the way through over to the, that wall plate just there. So at the moment we've got this one here which is 25 mil thick and it's 190 deep. It's a piece of Oregon it looks like, it's definitely not hardwood. Here what we've got is an LVL laminated veneered lumber. Uh, F17 190 by 42. You'll see over here that we've actually got quite a gap here. I can stick my whole finger underneath here. So, and these joists, if I put this LVL up here, you can see the gap here. So, what's happened is that the ceiling joists are running through. The weight of them are going down and then they haven't been pushed up against this hanging beam whatsoever. And the ceiling itself has actually got a bit of a cup in it, like that. What we're gonna do, we can't do anything underneath this ceiling. This whole ceiling here is actually pressed metal all the way through, so we can't push the ceiling up. So instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in, our new hanging beam, and then from there, we're gonna put in soldiers that go straight down beside it and then a sideward brace or a half herring coming down to the side. Uh, that will hold this whole thing, it will stop it from rolling. Once we've done one side, then we'll remove this and then we'll do the other side as well. So stay tuned and I'll show you how we go. Here we've got the hanging beam down. You can see by the grain in this that we've got Oregon. So it's an Oregon beam that is 170, so it's shrunk down a bit. Obviously it's seasoned in place by 25 mil. So it's about 20 mil now. Again, shrunk down in size due to seasoning in space. Place. Here we've got our wiring. Remember when you do a renovation or extension, if you're doing a full reno, we disconnect all of our power from the very beginning. Um, if we're just installing a beam or something like that, then we'll switch the power off at the mains and just run a, an extension lead where we need to, just to gain power. Um, otherwise, if you cut into something like this and it's live, of course, you're just gonna fry yourself. So, safety, think it, talk it, work it. From here, what we're gonna do, remove that, put the soldiers in, on the other side, so here are our soldiers. 
and here is our half herring. You can see that our half herring is nailed on the 45 there and then down the bottom. And the reason that we use a 45 degree angle is because it's the strongest angle that you can get. It also provides the most amount of support. we have our hanging beam finished we've got our half herring on each side opposing and then we've also got our soldiers so every second the beam can't go down it can't spread and it can't come up and down because we've got our soldiers in place so then the other very far end we've just finished any downward pressure with a prop so here we've got our prop We've got a foot cut on the bottom of it. Um, prop with a foot cut on the bottom of it. And that way we can just utilize this wall that runs underneath it with any pressure coming downwards. Nothing then is on these. This is then free spanning from this point here at the very end to the other end free spanning. And we'll put a finish that off on top of that wall plate on that side. That was our helpful handy hint today with Bow Wolf Builders and doing hanging beams. If you've got any other questions or queries, flick them over and we'll be sure to answer them for you. Until then, stay unreal, banana peel.